Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you guys are having a great day as always. I want to take a moment and talk about our current new leader, Sergeant Johnson, and where he stands in the meta or in the game in general. Jonathan was a very big shock to the community and to me for even being a playable character after his death in Halo 3, which was very exciting and gave the community much hope for another character to return like Serena. But Jonathan was not like the past leaders, Kinsano and Colony. Jonathan is a much weaker leader early and has a more passive playstyle. As for Kinsano and Colony, they were very, and I mean very strong on their release. They are both some of the most aggressive leaders up there next to Decimus and Cutter. Most of the community either liked them or hated them. Kinsano got nerfed when the Colony DLC got released several patches out, but Colony still remains strong currently. But back to Johnson, what makes him so weak? Well, let's start with his units. The only unique aspect they made to his units is that they replaced tanks and warhogs with mechs, which was a very cool concept, and I like how they change units around, but the units themselves are so slow and have so little damage. Mechs and Colossus are probably the slowest units in the game. Yeah, they are slow, but they are also weak. They lack damage. Hopefully, for a future patch, they buff either their speed or damage because the units themselves are not playable. Too many other units can easily counter him and shut him down early. As for his leader skills, the bunker drop was a great idea. I love the aspect of having the garrison either to defend the base or add pressure somewhere on the map. As for the others, they are mostly all related to improving base structure, which is very passive in my opinion. But only having three offensive skills, that being EMP, combat salvage, and siege turret, doesn't really balance the leader and puts him in a really bad spot early. My only opinion on fixing this issue is by swapping the siege turret with the heal, giving him some sort of early game survivability. Other than that, Jonathan needs a lot of support to get through the early game stage. I don't blame 3 for 3 for going the passive route on Johnson, seeing that the other leaders were so strong on their release. It gave the aspect for the people who can't buy the DLC that the game is pay to win in a sense. I really hope they do Johnson right. His legacy is too great to be another Isabel, and we all want him to succeed in his last debut. As always guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. Let me know what you guys think about Johnson and what changes need to be made. It's been your boy Wizard. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.